broke it, you fucker. Good morning. I got the house. And then I need to sign this lease. We're good to go. We start moving, basically. So good news for this morning. I'm hyped. I'm super hyped. Uh, because a lot of people don't know this, but before a lot of people found me when I was already uh, getting shoes and I already had a massive amount of shoes and I look like I'm rich, you know, like I can get whatever I want and I just have endless money and whatever, whatever. Some people think I got hundreds of thousands of dollars in a settlement for a car accident. I didn't. I can't give you the exact number I got. I can tell you that it was less than what a new Volkswagen would cost. Earn's car costs more than the settlement that I got. Prior to all that, I've honestly not been able to rent an apartment in a long ass fucking time. So I had apartments like growing up just fine. I never really had any like real issues, but then I got older I lived in DC I had this huge crazy bullshit falling out in DC and just like dipped went to New York and I didn't actually technically have a house like I lived I rented this little tattoo shop and I just lived in it I lived in there and I just made music and I just was crazy full disclosure I did drugs I don't know like I don't want to say that I was turned off I was jaded you know I was just super uh, not into the world I was very angry at the world I'd gone through a breakup up. It was just like, you know, but I was just, you know, angsty. But also it's where I found a lot of stuff about myself. I learned a lot. I uh, found Earn. A lot of my really good friends to this day. I still tattooed. I just, regardless, long story short, when I came out to Colorado, I brought Diddy with me, who I talked to in jail. And I, you know, circumstances just got crazy. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Life got crazy. Credit scores got Fucked. You know, I had like all this crazy shit on my credit. I had people try to evict me at one point. Like just like crazy shit all the time. And then it got to the point where I was just like renting shitty houses or having to like get shitty houses. And even when I moved into this house, uh, I had to pay off all this shit on my credit basically to even get in here. Like, tons of shit. Moving in here was nuts. I had to have Sager put all this shit down. I had to do shit with the business. Uh, like just, you know, stuff. Like I had to prove that my life had changed basically. And uh, this is the first time in my entire entire life that I have not had to worry when I was filling out a leak. The first time ever filled something out and been like completely confident like yeah I got that. I mean whatever like yeah like you know what I mean like it's just never happened. It's super cool to finally finally feel secure. I know people probably think that I have felt secure forever but come from that place of just filling out rental. I remember when like a $50 rental application was like, yo, I can afford two of these. And I'm not doing this to brag because I know that a lot of people out here are still struggling and I still struggle. Like I know people think I'm rich. I'm not. I just do a lot of stuff to make this reality mine. Cause I love my life. This is the life I dreamed of. I continuously want to chase the life I dream of. And this is all part of it. I'm not done. I have so much more that I want to achieve, but it does feel really good to just be like yo i just got a house in like you know two hours basically the other day yes yesterday it's just never happened i'm stoked i'm hyped people a lot of times say i'm never excited about things and i don't think i look phys phys uh, physically excited but i am it's nice to know that uh, I can start kind of just getting this shit going. So anyway, um, I don't really know what's happening. I really think we plan on looking at houses all day. I still have plenty of drawing to do and that's what I'm doing this morning. And hoping some shoes show up, like for real. I just want these mids. All right, the electronic lease has been signed. You're good to go. I just gotta go get this dude a check. Something else is happening just now. Can't remember. Uh, just announced that we're gonna be releasing toddler clothing. So we're doing toddler and youth clothing. Um, I've been requested just like, obviously my goal in life is to build a clothing brand, if you haven't figured that out yet. In that, I would like to make clothing. I would like to make all kinds of clothing down to the most simple form of sock to the most elegant of coats. Yeah, we've announced that toddlers and youth are coming and that stuff is gonna come on a pre-order. So that stuff will drop along with some restocks and some other stuff. I'm trying to find stuff that people have missed out on the most and restock it this week to give myself more time to work on this new collection. Rumors and Rules is the next collection. Yeah, I just need to finalize some stuff. That's what's happening. Earn should be here any minute and then we'll get this day crack and see what's happening. Oh, I need to text about these shoes.
I keep forgetting my man's back on blue. I started to have a little bit of, because Ernie did all this for me, Ernie set all this up. You know, you hear about those scams, sign leases and give all their information, and it's just like a scam. They just give people like the first and last month's rent and they leave. It's kind of how I started to tell it. I was like, yo, man, Ern <laughs> called him this morning and was like, you need to call and check and make sure that uh, this is legit. We're not just giving some fucking party boy a bunch of money to go to Cancun for a week. Yo. Yo. He did it. What? He did it. He did it in one day. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Right. Did you hear the push a deep T track? I heard them all. You heard the new push it. No. Did you hear the new diss track towards Drake? No, it's different than what's on that album. Are you serious? Dude, the other day, I, I just said to you two days ago, I said, what is everyone talking about Pusha T and Drake? And you were like, at the end of... Infrared. Yeah, Infrared, which I've heard, but I haven't heard... Did you hear Drake's response? No, I haven't heard... You haven't heard anything. I've seen... Well, this, guess what I've we're seen, doing on the vlog today, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen the Drake <laughs> blackface thing. You don't have any idea of the context of any of no. this. No! I think I need to fucking look into this more. All right, let's get you, get you caught up. Hip hop, hip hop news with Teddy Shaverian. All right, first, this beef started with Lil Wayne. Pusha T used to come at Lil Wayne for his contract. It literally started with Lil Wayne and Baby. Lil Wayne has an old ass tweet, like, I don't know how many years it's been now, but it was fuck Pusha T and anyone that rides with him. And then I think since then, Lil Wayne's taking it back, but that's what happened. Pusha T's been coming at Young Money forever. Exodus is probably the biggest song with the best video in the world, basically. I don't know if I've seen the video either. Video is just super fucking like, just gr gringy and fucking just grimy. A perfect example of a, a video that goes along with that new album cover, which is the Whitney Houston thing. It shows the fringes of society and yeah. what drugs do to it. Oh shit. Oh, Bruh, shit. somebody hooked us the fuck up. Feller. Hell yeah, dude, who sent this? There's no note. It's been like jabs back and forth, back and forth. Like nothing serious for a couple, like a while, I guess. But Push is always like, no pun intended, pushing the subject. After Infrared happened, Drake the next day released what's called the Duppy Freestyle. It means ghost. It's like patois for ghost. So here's the fucking freestyle disc, which we all know Drake doesn't write his own music, so I don't really think that this is a freestyle. It doesn't sound like a freestyle, but this is the, this is the freestyle. I love that you haven't experienced this yet when you experience it together. Now you popping up with the jokes, I'm dead, I'm asleep. I, yeah, your brother said it was your Wears cousin. up a lot of Twitter you, quotes So you don't rap what you did, you do. There's no malice in your heart, you an approachable dude. Man, you might have sold a that line about the microphone is because Pusha, or because Drake back in the day actually bought the microphone that Pusha T supposedly used that had his name that it was signed. Yeah. All right, so there's Drake's fucking. I mean, bottom line, yeah, if someone else writes this on a. I still, like, that's a good diss track, you okay. know? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. I've yet to hear this other one. It was, it was a good diss track if you're a Drake fan until about this morning or last night. <laughs> huh, how did I miss this? Cause you ain't about nothing. Dude, I'm sitting here watching the Breakfast Club interview last night. Like I'm watching shit on the Pusha T album. That Breakfast Club interview is fucking a week old. This shit happened yesterday, I get my that. G. I get what that. What are you talking about? How you missed it because when the interview you watched, this had not taken place. So I get you, it, but where's the links on the side? And That's here's the thing. Point. A lot of people don't know this. My man likes Drake. I've always yeah. hated Drake. People I, don't realize this. Yesterday on Twitter we're like, damn, you really don't like Drake all of a sudden. Yeah. Drake, like Teddy has forever. hated Drake yeah, from I don't this when I met you, I was listening to Drake. During that breakup nine years ago, you hated me. I have mock you made covers that I made of you. I have photos of you that I made fake <laughs> Making Drake Making me covers. look like Drake, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> don't knock his hustle. I don't dislike him as a human being. I've met people on his team that are amazing. I don't appreciate his music. That's it. Yeah. That's where we're drawing the line. All right, yeah. so Pusha T, I absolutely love. Clips, well, me too. love. All right, so here's what a real diss track sounds like. Let's not even, we don't have to talk about the blackface thing. I'm not Easy even gonna... money. Well, who, that's just Photoshop. No, man. that is a real photo. The, that is yeah, a real photo. That is a real photo of Drake that has come out. I'm not giving anyone the yay or nay on anything. I'm just looking at a photo yeah, well, that I see that makes me feel uncomfortable. That's makes me feel uncomfortable can... too, but what's fucked up right off the bat is like that's context. Like He won the diss track before we even hit play. First time this photo's come out? Ever. Just as the cover of this diss yep. track. Pusha T, bro, Pusha knew what the fuck he was doing before Drake ever responded. This is fucking chess. Dude, now wait for the track. At first I was like, damn, the song doesn't even matter. Then I heard the song. It's about to be a surgical summer. You are hiding a child. Let that boy come home. Dead beat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. Oh, Adonis is your son. And he deserves more than an Adidas pro. 
press run, that's real. Tick, tick, tick. How much time he got that man is? Six, six, six. I got the devil flow, nigga. Six, six, six. Surgical summer with it. Out of the motherfucking year. <laughs> well, I want to see what it's like when you get angry. Well, your opinion. Oh, oh. Who won the battle so far? <laughs> well, I take push you take. There's also another Drake song that dropped. I haven't listened to it because I don't like Drake. I don't think it's another diss track, but I'm sensitive. Mm -hmm. What but is, it's over for smoking. We're smoking in East Coast Sour Diesel. It's so good. <laughs> now we're going to take this weed nicely ground up. What are we? East Coast Sour Diesel. Mm -hmm. I never see Sour Diesel this good on the East Coast, but let's not. We don't need to use our hands like a savage. We've got the stick. Give it a little pack down. Like Gandalf. James Gandolfini. <laughs> We're just gonna, I don't know, I don't know how much, Very, like, I don't know, like, all this will fit in there, you're see? You're doing a lot of talking. You're doing a lot of talking. I'm seeing it. Can we get on with the tutorial? This is a tutorial. It's gotta be packed correctly. Oh. The cone, the tip, slide it on. Now we're gonna cock it back. It work? Um, well, we'll cock it again. You're gonna fuck it up. Nah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. Elmo, are you ready to move? You get in the yard. A lot of paper in the end there. Had to blow that out. Dude. Burning better than any joint that I roll. Mm -hmm. Any code you've ever rolled, this is fucking killing it. Get a gun handle and glue it to it, and that'll just be your your burner. You know what I mean? Hold up, I got a full <coughs> clip. You're like, Ch -ch -ch, and you just pull out the joint. Clip. We can brand yeah, this. Thing. You know now you got this spot. Yo, hey, chill, bro. Burn. If you don't start fucking with the goddamn fucking. What did I hit? The aperture turned fucking up and shit. Cause you think oh. you're a manual master when it's on auto. I get it, so switch deck. it back. It really looks washed out like fucking powder over here. Hell yeah. Yo, the Yeezys. Oh Bro. Fucking good. I need a legit check. <laughs> no, they gotta be real. Yeah, yeah, I just want them to be real so bad that I don't want to legit check them really. They'll have so many questions, either they're real or not. Like, where the fuck did you get those? If and they're we're... fake and he just went to like fucking Goodwill or some yeah. shit and someone threw them in, I could that could be my only thing. But like, yeah, he rides a Harley. He's like, he could be like a Harley hype beast. Yeah, the Harley hype beast. It's you just, know, those guys that's are. That's his Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Omar's got a friend. Cool. Oh, nice. Bro, it's huge. Dude, it's kind of amazing. You could get an AC in the window. Yeah. All of my tattoo machine building in my workshop. I'm gonna start my own machine company. Boom, boom, boom. So if you're tatting, if you're slinging ink, holla. This way. That's the rainy day blunt spot. We feel yeah. around here. If you're a local artist and you need that alley shot. Yeah, we you got the smoking you. bones in the stairway One shot. This shit. Oh, no, don't open it. Why? It's hooked on the other side, oh, too. Okay. I fucking forgot until right now as you were... The dining room. Let me zoom out. Not be a dining room at all. We have the kitchen. Brand new stove. Every microwave. Dishwashing. Brand new faucet. Brand new motherfucker with the refrigerator. So I stick on like it's not iPhone. Dude, I guess the couch will be against the window. The TV will be up on that wall. Throw in that couch away. This will most... Sure. <laughs> I don't know because there's two rooms down there. Basically. This might be the podcast room. Yo, know, just because the carpeting, watch how dead it is in here compared to in that other room. See what I'm saying? I think this was supposed to be a bedroom for someone that could have their own exit or yeah. something. Yeah, it's my Airbnb. Only. And then this is, I guess, supposed to be my bedroom. Like another room, which could be like a closet. This could be like. Or another room. Or this could be. The it's whatever, dude. Like, this yeah. could all be used yeah. for whatever. The shower's nice. Yeah, dude. This is all brand new. They just put it in. You can see the fucking yeah. grow room. The grow area. So we got. We ain't even planning on growing, but they handed it to us. Yeah, now it's a question. Room. Yeah, another one that you say would be good for podcasts, but you just have to carpet the shit out and pad this thing. But yeah, this 
I mean, what else is this hard room for? Oh, it's right next to the water line. It's for Wii. Pretty new too. Not brand new, but they. Boom, that's the house tour. Mom Dukes is in the kitchen. <laughs> Turn off all these lights. Shit's my name now, dog. Uh, you said you want to try the hamburger stand. No, but we're out today. The line's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy line. You can drive through the restaurant, man. Yeah, that's my. That's kind of why I want to try it. Five too. burgers or corn dogs for six dollars. It's amazing. Amazing, you can turn a profit. Like throwing yeah. corn dogs in the back. Like, these things cost us a penny a piece. Damn, there's an S line Audi over there. Should we go cop a whip today too? Go cop a whip. Show everybody what time it is. People will be like, what the fuck? Dang. Fuck are you doing, boy? You were just stressed yesterday. I just copped an Audi. Yeah. Listen for how y'all donating. The link is on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would. Help. I would just keep the car. We would just. Yeah. It. it would break down by the end of tour. Yeah. Copping a used Audi and then taking it on tour, it would blow up by the time we got to fucking Texas. Ghostbuster mobile. Oh shit! It's lit out here today, bro. We got everything. My dude is wearing the fucking uniform. Dude. Told Tommy he should sue. He should. Let's sue the shit out of Blanco. There it is, auto accident. 303 222222. You got hit, we're gonna give you one number. Can you remember one number? Yeah. How many fingers am I holding up? That's how their fucking act, their ad should be. Yeah. Here's another fake ad for you. A fucking car accident. Lawyer above you, like, but he's transparent and he's like shaky. Hey, hey, remember the commercial? Remember? He's like bleeding out of his ears and she's like, what? He's like, two. How many fingers am I holding up? Two, three, oh, three, two, and then it's a testimonial after the guy's got the neck brace on and he's, I was in an awful car accident and I couldn't remember anything, but, <laughs> but Greg, Greg get him, attorney at law, two, 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 two. How, how, how many fingers? <laughs> he's like, got no teeth. <laughs> Black guy. How many fingers? Did I do it right, Greg? <laughs> oh my God. It's great. Greg, get him. We're gonna Randy get you the said, most. Hi, what's your ETA? One, Bitch, two, what's five. What's your ETA? What's your ETA? Huh? <laughs> oh. You hit cancel real fast. Yeah. I'll be my business. <laughs> Fuck you. Elliot, what's your ET? Hey. <laughs> no, she's Uber. I guess she's good to go. What she need to know what time you coming home for? I think because I would have picked her up if. if it's closer, but I'm like, Bullet. she said she'll Uber. I know. I'm gonna get her a gift card for her birthday for Uber, so every time she complains, it's <laughs> oh like, my God, Teddy dude. got you a gift. She just hates doing it. I'm just gonna she get her a big box. Car, well, it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a couple of boxes, and each each thing will be a, some, like a comfort thing, like a blankie, you know? Like, the first thing will be a blankie, and the next thing will be a pair of headphones, and the next thing will be a book, and then the next thing will be Irma, and then the next thing will be the Uber gift card. <laughs> and it's like, you are now prepared. Oh, a snack, too. A little snack. Snack box. Yeah, yeah. A little backpack with some snacks. A little safety pack is what I'll call it. Yeah. A little thunder blanket just for to it. Take it. It's invisible amazing. cloak. No one can see you, Brandy. Just put on your invisible cloak. Yeah. Get right. in the fucking Uber. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta put that in the vlog for <laughs> sure. Oh, sleeping in the suitcase. What is up, world? So, at the house. Ba 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 ba. Sign the lease. Everything's cool. Yeah, everything's great. Omar, I got you a yard, famo. I got you a yard and the dog that barks next door. They hooked it up, dude. They gave me the shit. Uh, they're not even charging me for the first two weeks, basically. They're prorating my rent and letting me just move in um, because I have to still pay half a month's rent here. So it's awesome, actually. So I basically get to kind of move stuff slowly if I want to, even though I'm probably gonna try and get movers to move most of it. I don't know. I have to strategize now, so I don't really know. That's pretty much my day because after this, I need to edit this vlog right here. And then I need to, well, I need to eat a salad. I need to edit this vlog. I need to hit the gym. And then I'm supposed to go meet Ern and Brandy for dinner. So I have a lot to do. And, uh, all right, I'm out. Love y'all. Peace. That's great. We can start moving over. shit over. We can take some trips right. during the day, move some shit that, like, as you pack shit that you're not going to use, we'll move it over there. This sounds a lot like work. 
have it. That sounds a lot like labor. Can we I'll just pack the all this? You're gonna move my whole house. It, if you pay me money to like separate <laughs> money, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'll do the whole. Th I'll figure it out. I'll do it cheaper than any mover and faster. <laughs> You're crazy. And you can vlog it. <laughs> You're fucking Your crazy. How much no. is this gonna cost me? I don't know. What we'll do? We'll call a regular moving service, and if they're like fucking twenty five hundred, I'll beg. I'll do that shit for fifteen. If they're like fifteen, I'll beg, dude. I'll do that shit for like eight. Like whatever it is, I'll chop it right in half. Save you money. What if they make? say three fifty? Three hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> I'll say hire those motherfuckers. <laughs> bucks or You're gonna kill yourself. You have to move all this shit. No, because I will figure out the money. I'll hire. I'll fucking uh, find somebody on the corner. Gonna, okay, you're just doing the management. You're not. No, actually. I'm gonna physically do it. I just, I, I gotta. We'll see what happens. Say, so, yeah, I got a quote. And then you think you're gonna undercut the quote and then hire people to do it. God, I mean, there's. I know how much it was to move in here. How much? Not that much. Oh, well, then maybe just pay somebody. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. You thought it was gonna be twenty five hundred dollars? Who the yeah. fuck in Georgia think, for twenty five? I think because I'm thinking when I was getting all my quotes, they were from New York to Denver. It's probably less than five hundred bucks, dude. It's fucking cake. I, you said like, like oh, I'm not looking forward to moving. Who the fuck? No, the fuck I didn't. Fuck? You said that fucking you wanted to start packing as I started packing shit to start moving stuff over there together. And I said, that sounds a lot like work. Yeah. And then you and then went on a like, tangent. I never said any, this is my whole life, me saying one thing, people twisting the shit around. Uh, I'm just a mellow dude, man. I'm just a mellow dude.